for my birthday this year, I want to celebrate with some of the most outrageous, ridiculous, and sometimes very, very shiny get-ups that I could find. So I work with X Plus Wear at Halloween, and I really love the costume. I thought that they were well made and well thought out, but when I was looking at costumes, I took a little bit of a peek at their normal offerings, and let me tell you, there are some wild things over there. So when March rolled around, I reached out to them to see if they wanted to partner with me on this little idea. So they did send me the clothes, but I totally picked it out. And y'all, let me show you some of the things that they have to offer on this site. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't mean to leave you out. I see you and I appreciate you being here. All right, I think before we start, I'm gonna show you some of the things that X Plus Wear has to offer, like that I had to choose from because it is just fun. I was able to look at things from like dreamy to pop star. And <laughs> these are clothes that are geared toward plus sizes. I just really wanted to see what some of the more outlandish things would look like. I wear a size 22, um, I'm 5'10". Like this one in particular, which I decided I needed to start out with because it's like my little birthday dress. <laughs> This is actually pitched as a dress and it does look very short on the model, but it is very shorter on me. And so I decided to pair with leggings, which I think totally works. It looks like a top, but I think that it's fun and it's festive, but it is definitely a top in my world. What I really like to do on sites like this is go into the reviews. And in all honesty, I don't even look at the reviews that don't have pictures. Those pictures, that's what I'm here for. So some of these did, some of these didn't. In fact, one of them I purchased like strictly because of the pictures. Let me show you which one. Oh. Yeah. In fact, I don't really think that I can wait any longer. I'm gonna have to put this one on. The first one is perfect for the workplace. As long as you don't work in a library because this bad boy is loud. Oh, let me see. This is really the reason that I decided to order these things. <laughs> if I worked in Vegas, this would be the perfect outfit. I can start my day out being a mermaid because I am totally covered in scales. <laughs> and then I can finish by marrying people. Oh, don't you step on the wind, sweet you. When I first put this on, Lulu was literally afraid of it. There she goes. And <laughs> she, she, when she hid under my husband's desk, and now she's coming out and barking at me. But she's left to go find for Becca. <laughs> so, this one's completely impractical, but that's kind of the name of the day. I would probably wear it for shock value, but I could think of doing some theme funko. I miss you ladies. Let's do a Vegas funko. <laughs> this one is really low cut. With a group of ladies, it wouldn't bother me. The one bad thing is that I can see like five of these little sequins, like just in front of me, so I'm sure they're everywhere, and I'm imagining that a lot of them are gonna be missing from between my legs because of like the walking and the running together. And then also, this one is a little bit hot. Like I can feel that it's got a polyester element to it. <laughs> and probably throughout the day or wherever you're wearing this, it'll get hot. And I honestly have no idea how you would launder one of these things. If you're really wanting to test your dry cleaner, but it's super fun. I'm five foot ten, and it doesn't quite go to my ankle, but I think that it's totally fine. I've only worn the birthday one and this one, but so far, she's the winner. All right, I'm not pulling the others out. I'm just coming dressed in. <laughs> okay, this is a totally eclectic mix. This one I got because it just felt like strangely nostalgic. I got this one for a multitude of reasons. It's the fabric of that red dress that everyone seemed to really like in my first like unrealistic formal video. It is what we kind of called scuba, but it's not scuba. This is, it's like a super thick foam material. I mean, like this is two of them together. I don't know if you can see, but it definitely has a scuba property. I could definitely be a fashionable diver in this one. I saw this one like long ago and thought it was really cute. I don't know where I'd wear it, but I really like it. And it really has kind of a 90s throwback feel to me. And the main reason <laughs> I've talked about this before is that I had this box. It was from Victoria's Secret. And I don't know why it had such blood do now. It has a great like nostalgic place for me. It was this black velvet box and it had this pink satin ribbon. And some of you have told me that you also had this box, but it had like a gift set of scents. 
And I either got Pure Place or Love Spell because those were my two favorite scents from Victoria's Secret. And then for years, I mean, I got it probably in middle school and high school and college, I would keep notes that people had given me. My boyfriend, now this guy, and my good friends and I would write notes back and forth all the time. Doodles, fold them in cool ways. I kept them all in that. And so I thought, you know, after bringing it up last time, I was like, I'm gonna go to my parents' house and find it. And I did it. They moved multiple times, <laughs> decluttered, it is gone. But I'm recovering the rescue. A late 90s Victoria's Secret gift box, like in the most like pristine of pristine conditions. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna do aside from cosplay it, but cosplay it I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it is really funny. Like I saw this, I think it was like $8 and I couldn't not buy it. <laughs> I really do like this one. It is like obscenely comfortable to be a straggler. Now, none of these so far have a hook closure. So the getting them up was kind of tricky. In fact, my husband like actually held the sides and used his teeth to pull the rest of it up. I don't know if I should leave that part in or not. The things you do for love and you do. I do think that this is great. The bow gives a good amount of distraction and it makes the black look incredibly slenderizing, I think. It gives me shape that may or may not be there. And I really like it. So we're going to the next one. Okay. I will tell you that this was like a third string item. So I had initially made a selection of items. There were some that I couldn't get in a decent amount of time. And so I sent some others. And then on my third sending, this made it. So <laughs> the color of this is supposed to be gold, but it is really, to my eye, very orange. So it's very long. Like I said, I'm 5'10". I say that a lot because I am very tall, even by like American standards. When something's touching the ground, that's a, a lot of times that's good information for you. Same thing with whenever something's coming up like mid cap and it's supposed to be to the ground. So this kind of reminds me, did you watch Breaking Bad? It was one of my like guilty pleasure shows. I loved it. And there's this episode where Skylar goes to the Grey Matter guys, um, Schwartz, Elliot Schwartz's birthday party. And she's wearing this dress. Like everyone there is wearing like, it's like a white party essentially. And she's wearing this wild 80s prom dress looking ruched number. And I'm gonna have to find it like in my mind, it looks like this, but maybe purple, I don't know. And <laughs> but I'll put a picture of it on the screen. So like from here down, it reminds me of that. I think that hers was like a high low, but up top, it kind of reminds me of Jetson's prom. I think that it's fun. It is a very much um, a polyester, very costumey, but that's what I was going for. Let's be real. <laughs> In true George Jetson fashion. Ross, get me out of this crazy thing. <laughs> All right, I think I'm saving the best for last because I'm a pinata. This one has some of the most fun motion. So this is like a jacket. The inside is just a super stretch material jacket. And then it has layers and layers of these streamers just sewn on it, which means that there are certain places where you're gonna see the blue jacket through, but I think that that's okay. So see, like we just saw it here. Um, but if you're cognizant of that, you can kind of split half one direction, half the other. <laughs> I think that there is a theater department somewhere that would have so much fun with these items and I need to find it. This one kind of reminds me of Harley Quinn's jacket. Have you ever seen Birds of Prey? I think that, now hers was pretty amazing. My husband says that the costume designer really understood the assignment on that one. It's like police tape and all kinds of cool stuff. I'll show you a picture. It also reminds me a lot of just like pom-poms. Like you're your own cheerleader wearing this bad boy. Hey, Mickey, what's up, fun? Don't you understand? I would love to know if there are any pieces that you like. I mean, they are all ridiculous in the best kind of way. Let me know if we were to have a ridiculous birthday party in a private location where we're not worried about being embarrassed by the public. <laughs> Which of these would you choose? Would you choose pinata pom-pom? Would you choose Jetson prom dress? Would you choose pink bow scoop suit? Mermaid Elvis? or just the it's my birthday shirt slash dress. I am interested. Honestly, if it was me, it would 100% be a tie between this guy, 
um, which would probably be more comfortable, and mermaid Elvis because that one is hilarious. Now, I'd have to go somewhere where I would feel comfortable either leaving stuff or where a good friend is letting me have the room at the end of the night so that I pick it up. Um, I'm gonna tell you, like, looking at my floor, I have sequins from Elvis and streamers from Pinata, so both of these go shit. I really want to thank X Plus Wear for sending me these. I'm excited to see what they have coming out at Halloween because they always have the best Halloween offerings. I always want to tell you, if you ever want to support me, the best way is by doing exactly what you're doing. Thank you so much for watching my videos. You're amazing. Liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all of those things totally help me too. You are amazing. And if you have a March birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next one.